on my first team tonight, I have Alfredo Diaz and Trevor Collins. On my second team tonight, I got Barbara Dunkelman and Gus Sarola. I'm your host, John Reisinger. Welcome on the spot. Hello. 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 Just did, you, did, you take all those, <laughs> did you take all those graphics home with you, John? That was really smart. Yeah, I'm pushing all the buttons and making this whole stream happen. There's definitely not a man behind the curtain. Do, 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 do. Every Wednesday um, about this time, he likes to play the theme song. <laughs> Just puts him in the mood. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, hello. Welcome to Roost City's official game show. It's called On the Spot. This is the home edition. Um, this episode of On the Spot is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Uh, your data is your business. You need to protect your business and your data. Uh, protect it at expressvpn.com slash RTTV. Um, did I say that right? You did. I'm okay. proud of you, John. I yeah. think I literally just blacked out the end hey, of that hey, ad. Everyone, I think I just had applause for John. Way to go, John. You did it. Yeah. I think yeah, I literally just it. lost the last 30 seconds. My brain is at that point of like just not retaining anything because there's nothing to like designate that stuff has happened. Every so day just... is the same. Oh, over and over again. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a good idea. Can we do a all the across the webcams wave? I'll be impressed. Who starts Come it? Come on, Fredo. Where's it starting? All right. Fredo's got to start it. Hold on. He's I a little, a little, a little <laughs> wrong side. Ready? Okay. Go. Oh, shit. You had it right. You had it right. Nope. You we had this one shot. You had this one shot. We did, we did it. <laughs> one opportunity. Uh, Palms are sweaty. It's mom's kinda spaghetti. Uh, welcome to episode uh, two of our short uh, three part mini series of On the Spot Home Edition. It doesn't um, matter if it's short. All that matters is you know how to use it. <laughs> it's true. I'm just saying. Um, you hear that, Barbara? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Um, <laughs> she's got that on post-it notes around her mirror. Trevor um, and I are okay. in a room back to back from each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's so sweet. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, you guys are like the closest people who can get together on this show. You're actually like closest as it can be of us recording together in the studio. That's pretty good. Um, so we are gonna play some games, we're gonna have some fun. We got a few hours of business to get to before we get to those games and fun and we're gonna, the business is uh, team names. So my boys, uh, Alfredo and Trevor, what team name did you two come up with? Uh, pretty simple, go ahead and flash it on the screen. I think it speaks for itself. Dun, dun, dun. Red Web Podcast, available <laughs> July 20th everywhere. Go listen or on the spot stays. Now, I know that sounds like an enticement, but you don't want that. You don't want it to stay. It's good in small doses, like my penis. So, uh, Red Web, available July 20th. You can listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts. If you like Unsolved Mysteries, I encourage you to give it a little ear or two. If you like it in yeah. stereo. Uh, Fredo and I, I uh, explore mysteries every week. That's great. Some are terrifying, more are uh, just scary. Ooh, <laughs> scary. <laughs> he ran out of <laughs> adjectives. Uh, All unsettling. <laughs> some are scary, some are frightening, some are terrifying. You never know. You never know what you're um, doing. Yeah, uh, as someone who has nothing to do with any of the podcasts that we are making as far as audio ones go, we are knocking it out of the park, and I, can, I can't stop recommending you check them all out. Very excited for Red Web. Um, and yeah, go check it out. Um, when it comes out, July 20th, which is five days away from the recording. Yeah, it's, uh, Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Okay. Uh, so you have plugged your podcast, your team name. What have you guys plugged with your team name? Um, <laughs> Barbara Listen, and Gus. I think it's important. I know times are rough right now, uh, these challenging times. I just, I think it's important for everyone to remember that things could be worse. We actually have it okay right now. Oh. So, uh, you know, with that, I'd like to present our team name. Which is COVID-20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we should do it, everybody. The we'll next we can do it. Just reminding you, it could be a lot worse. Well, you, the originals are usually better, so I, I have to believe the sequel has to, I hate to hit a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's our team names for um, this uh, episode of On the Spot. I know you guys all use the team names and hashtags on Twitter so much. All the so. time. It crashes Twitter all the time. 
Maybe and don't yeah, hashtag COVID twenty. That'll start a whole bringing, new war. I don't war. think you can. I don't think you can. Ha I don't think you can use a dash in hashtags. Um, I think any punctuation oh. breaks the hashtag. So uh, you have to do underscore. Can you do underscore hashtag? I think you could do underscore. Yeah, I think that's the one uh, thing you can do. Regardless. Okay. Don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just uh, just send your support and chat or in the comments wherever you're watching this. <laughs> you know what we can do is we can play a game. And I want to play a game <gasps> called Quick Thinking. Ooh. I like games. Okay. Um, do you want to play a game? Uh, so the way this game works is that I'm going to give everybody who's going to be playing, which is everybody that's on the show tonight, um, that's a prompt. And they're all going to be coming up with answers for the prompt, starting with letters. The letter will change throughout the round. I'll make sure to note that. You'll see it on the screen. It'll take over stuff. Um, we'll go back and forth between teammates with answers, hot potato style. I'll give points to, I'll say uh, yes or no. Uh, yes for me gets points. A no means no points. And since we are doing this a little bit lo-fi, low budget version of on the spot, um, the teammates, uh, my, my contestants are going to have to hold up a finger if they get a point, and then we'll just kind of count it up and figure out who gets the most points at the end of the round. Um, yeah, I think I got over everything. Let's just yeah. go to the game and see what our first prompt is. It is thus. Please give me alternative options to wearing face masks for keeping the germs away. Let's get creative. You know, no no wrong answers. Let's, this, this is blue sky planning. I, I want to hear what you got. Starting with what letter? R. R, alternative options to wearing face masks for keeping the no-no uh, sniffles away. Um, R, I want to start off with uh, Frady do on this one. Frady, when you're ready and time's on the clock, set, go. Uh, recycled underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, points. Barb. Uh, rope around your face. <laughs> Just <a> Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, layered. Yes. Trevor, 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 Trevor. Replace your lungs uh, with plastic bags. <laughs> that would work too. Uh, yes, points, Gus. Remove yourself from society. That's actually valid. <laughs> it's not a joke, so no points. Um, oh, so I'm going to Alfredo <laughs> with what letter? <laughs> That's a valid way. <laughs> D. <laughs> D, Alfredo. Uh, don't put it on. <laughs> no, that's terrible. Don't oh. do that, Barbara. D. Uh dirty underwear <laughs> <laughs> now we've already done underwear no points <laughs> trevor a really like dense mustache oh i like that i like that a lot that's points dense Gus. mustache uh disinfectant up your nose <laughs> yeah that would work uh, it won't don't do that uh what's our next letter <laughs> e we'll go to fredy do again for that one e fredo uh everyone shares <laughs> Just hey, that's, that's just a good rule, man. <laughs> I yeah, guess it's an alternative. I'll give points. Yeah. Barb. Uh, earthworms shoved in your mouth. <laughs> yes, Trevor. <laughs> Eliminating all body orifices. That would work too. Gus, quick. Escape to outer space. <laughs> that's the Ooh. same as the other answer, which is remove yourself from society. Which it's also an works. Uh, uh. You're on thin ice. I'll give points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, we got five versus four, so we'll give uh, we'll just give five points and four points to each team for that one, um, and uh, we'll go and I think those are all valid ways that you could do it. Um, uh, if you just comp if you compile all of those options together, that will stop the germs. Mm, Everything yes. we stated. Yeah. Um, yes. Underwear, especially earthworms. dirty underwear. Yeah. <laughs> um, you should have used that for E. <laughs> We just have to keep it going. <laughs> Especially <laughs> dirty underwear. Plus, plus it uh, smells so good. What's our second uh, prompt? Uh, unique ways to get exercise inside your house. We're all um, kind of stuck in our homes for exercise, and so I think this is good. What's our starting letter going to be for that? L. Uh, I want to go with uh, Barbara to start off on this, and we'll go Barbara, Trevor, Gus, Fredo is the order I want to go in. Um, I'll call out your names. L, alternate, uh, unique ways to get exercise inside your house. Uh, let's put time on the clock. Ready, set, go. Light yourself on fire and run around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh point. <laughs> Trevor. Let yourself go, man. Oh, <laughs> oh no, don't do that. Oh, yeah, that's no a point for me, Gus. baby. One no. point. Uh, <laughs> uh, lifting your pets. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I miss your dogs. Uh, L, uh, Alfredo. Uh, 
lactate lunge. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'll give points. Yeah. Um, uh, next letter is H. H. Uh, Barbara, go. Uh, hop around like a, a whittle bunny rabbit. A whittle? A whittle. <laughs> a whittle. Yeah, I'll give points. Trevor? Heave trash bags of potatoes. <laughs> Why do you have so many potatoes? Yes, <laughs> points, <laughs> Gus. Uh, hug yourself and cry. That works. You burn <laughs> calories. Points, Alfredo. Uh, the handcuff pull up. Oh. You're going to have to explain all of these. I'm going to give points, but I'm going to need descriptions of these and examples. Uh, next letter is uh, O, Barbara. Uh, open and close your door rapidly. <laughs> yes, Trevor. <laughs> Uh, open a bunch of old jars. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good, Gus. Oh, face surprise. <laughs> I guess you would face? burn some calories doing that a lot. Quick, Fredo. Uh, the objectifying vegetable grip slip. <laughs> what? <laughs> objectifying vegetable grip slip? He, he yeah. did, that sounds like he just you, pulled a bunch of words out of a hat that? and put them together. Lactate lunge. Yeah, it's like uh, learning English for the first time. Pull -ups. It's like a robot yeah, yeah. Word generator. <laughs> Objectifying vegetable grip slip. So, grip so slip. say say you're doing a you know you say you're doing a pull up. You put two cucumbers, right? You put a little bit of uh, olive oil on them. And you're you're gripping onto them. You're objectifying them, and the, you know your grip is a little slippery. But you're trying to get those pull ups in there. It's it's really you think you're working out. You know your, your typical. You know muscles but you're really going for your core because you want to make sure you grip on and that cucumber nice and tight play. what is the lactate lunge oh that's just a quick <laughs> squeeze and lunge <laughs> yeah you know you're activating mm. other parts of your body to get like really into it right <laughs> no idea <laughs> john loves it it's just coming uh, right out of my mind i don't like it i don't like it <laughs> Oh man, um, that's pretty great. Uh, all right, who, you still got fingers up? Yeah. No, Barbara Barb's, and I Barb's feet just cut out. <laughs> <laughs> we had six. Well, Fully Gus, back. your team only has yeah. three points. Nope. No, Barb no, 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 wait no, for a second. No, 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 I, I can't, no. I'm having tech issues with my browser. Okay. Uh, uh, what? How many did you get, Fredo? You got three, uh, right? I, I don't know if the last one counted. Yes. I'll give points to that one. Yes. So five and six. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I think that's nine and 11 is the is the points at the end of that if, if i remember we, we had 10 10 and 10, and 10, had... and 10. okay Ooh. 10 and 10 10 and 10 it's yeah. tied Ooh, it's tied um okay uh let's go to our second game which is top or bottom me and trevor play that game every night yeah <laughs> Yuck. Um, top or bottom works this way. Uh, so uh, everyone's going to play, and I'm going to give out a scene prompt. They're going to perform back and forth with dialogue. Um, <laughs> I don't move very much. And every once in a while when I'm doing videos and I, I talk a lot with my hands, my watch goes, oh, you stood up and are walking around. <laughs> Nope, this is where I live. Um, and they're going to create uh, one character between the two of them, uh, and it'll create this kind of monster. We'll play it a couple times. We'll go back and forth and swap people around. We'll have some fun. Um, and so let's, uh, everyone, if you're going to center yourself into your camera, and we'll read our first scene, which is... Addicted to the success that Animal Crossing had during quarantine, Nintendo exec Trado calls an emergency brainstorm meeting with Garbara to figure out the next big quarantine game ASAP. Animal Crossing was was perfect for the timing and, and has created a, a quite of a storm in culture. And so we're trying to capture that lightning in a bottle again. Time to do um, it again. So. And Trevor knows all about Animal Crossing. <laughs> I well, watched he, her play. <laughs> He's the Nintendo executive that's that's uh, you know needs some help from uh, his big old helper Garbra. Um, so we'll put time on the clock. Um, I, I'm looking forward to see how these uh, characters look like. Ready, set, go. Garbra, the game it's amazing. Animal Crossing. We need another one. What 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 do you got? <laughs> Oh, well, um, we have uh, been working on a bunch of things and uh, they're, they're not quite ready to go. When, when do you need this by? Gabra, I'm telling you, I'm going to need this on my desk tomorrow morning. The, 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 the stocks are plummeting, I'm telling you right now. Tomorrow morning? Oh, geez, I don't know if we can get it done in time. 
uh, we could do something with uh, Mario. He's still popular, right? Right, right, Mario, Mario. Yeah, what, oh, shit, my eyes. Uh, what, what, <laughs> what can we do with that old fat plumber? We, what, what, what we got? What we got? Tell me. Well, uh, we're going to send him uh, way to the bottom of the ocean, and it's going to be a crossover with Avatar, and <gasps> he's going to be looking for James Cameron at the <gasps> bottom of the sea. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, of, course, is... of course, <laughs> I like that idea. Of course, oh, that's not it. And th Once he's done, there's there... movie rights involved too. We could we could get a film out of this. Exactly. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna resurrect uh, Bob Hoskins, and he's gonna be Mario all over again. And, oh. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're there's they're gonna find uh, King Koopa. They're gonna fight a giant squid, and uh, everyone's gonna love it. Oh, perfect. And then we'll end with a final boss battle with Gamble. <laughs> 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 very good, very good, very good. Very good. the boss. A lot of ooze over there. <laughs> when, when, we That's a power move. That, when we did a, a test run to get that set up, we Fredo and I happened to line up it perfectly when I did ooh, <laughs> creep the Fright, shit out of me. Frighteningly perfectly. Um, <laughs> That was good. That was good. I think I think you actually came up with a pretty good video game premise there, and hopefully that won't get stolen by um, real game. It will devs, be. Cause, it will be. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like Gambo, while definitely a play on, on a Mario character, sounds more like a boss from like Dark Souls universe. Like I just don't know what you're talking giant, about. Yeah. Hey, uh, those demonic are, those are my balls. mushroom. Those are my balls. Um, <laughs> those are my balls. Uh, okay, that was good. Uh, I'll decide points after we do one more round of that to see who I think did the best. Um, and so we'll go another round, and our prompt is what? Roommates, Bus, and Alvor um, have been doing okay so far, coexisting in quarantine until this moment when both of them have decided to air all of their grievances they've been holding in for four oh. months. Four oh. months. Of, this is probably a very uh, real scenario for a lot of people. It's happening every yeah. day. Uh, four months of, uh, being okay. Gotta lead to something bad. Um, so let's just, let's just get down. Let's get dirty. Let's get personal. Ooh. Um, and, uh, and, and have some fun. Uh, so you were going to switch around, uh, who's on top, who's on bottom, put time on the clock, ready, set, go. Hey, All right. Alvor. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Guess I don't know why you're talking. Oh my! Listen, uh, Fred, we need to talk about some stuff. Well, first and foremost, I got big issues with you, and yeah, let's air it out. But you keep calling me Fred. My name's Alvor. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely forgot that this quarantine's really messing with my brain. But you know what else is messing with my brain is your freaking mess you're leaving all over this apartment. Hmm. Oh, my, my mess. You out here lactate lunging your days in and out. <laughs> I can't deal with it no more. Listen, you got to get your exercise where you can, all right? Times are tough right now, and you know I love lactating. <laughs> I know, look, I know you love lactating, but I can't deal with you running around lactating and then all putting everything on your OnlyFans. I can't subscribe. <laughs> You've been subscribed to my OnlyFans for 18 months. All right, it's creepy. Yeah, but it's hard times and the content's getting a little old. I see the same living room and the same lactate stains all the time. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of stains, we got to talk about you masturbating all over the place and leaving your fluids on, uh, on all the surfaces in this place. What can I say? You know, they're going to come out with that new Miles Morales game and I just love just ps 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 all over the place. <laughs> You know, I don't blame you. That Miles Morales is pretty, uh, yeah, pretty good looking. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so disturbed by me and Gus's face together that whole time. That was, I didn't, I didn't like that. Uh, don't want I it. don't like it. I don't want to see that ever Barbara again. Let's Gus's never do hair. that ever again. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's rough. No, it's it that's just it. That, that, it, end it. That, that, that no more on the spot. No more. That's it. It's over. <laughs> It it's really does go to show you that our like proportions and features are only meant for the other half of our proportions and features. They are not, <laughs> except unless you're Alfred on Trevor. Um, then the, the you know uh, someone just split that little gene down the middle and made two little boys out of it. Um, 
<laughs> it looks like a real person. It looks like Andy Samberg. <laughs> Whereas me and Gus just looks like some weird atrocity. Yeah, yeah. atrocity. Um, happen. Man, I oh. really liked the uh, the energy Alvor was bringing that last uh, round. So I'm going to give points to Trevor and Alfredo on I this agree. one. That was yeah. very good. good. I don't know what this uh, Fred thing is. My name's Alvor. That was I <laughs> completely you forgot there were names the associated with the prompt. Everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know what they always say about improv? Always correct your other person in your scene. Yeah. No, <laughs> and. Always. No, always. But. No, but. No, yes. however. Um, okay, um. so with that in mind and points added up, I think we know who won. Let's see those points. Oh, surprise, Whoa. surprise. Why would you even play the first round? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of Barbara, anything? What's the are point you of saying life? that there's no point to this show and the games we play and the points that we gave out? Because no. if you're insinuating that, by God, I'm going to end this show after we do one more episode next week. <laughs> well, you know. I, I don't control those things. Oh wait, I do. Uh. I don't either. I don't control anything about this either. So uh, only thing I can control is I can say um, thank you to all of my 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 castmates and contestants. Thank you to you guys in chat. Thank you to everybody on RTTV. Thank you to first members. You guys are the bedrock that allow us to yeah. make shit storms like this upon. Um, and so uh, without you, on the spot couldn't happen. So it's your fault. That's what I'm going to say. How dare you. Stick to that story. Oh. Um, and we will see you guys for one more episode, a special episode. We got a special guest next week. Um, I highly recommend you tune in. Um, and continue to hang out here on RTTV. We got plenty of stuff. If you're watching this on YouTube, we're on RTTV all day long, nearly every single day of the week. Um, it's free for everybody to watch. You can create a, a, a free account to chat in chat if, if you want to become a first member to support this platform. Also an option. Um, At roosterteeth.com at roosterteeth.com, um, roosterteeth.com, and yeah, highly recommend that. Uh, that's all I got to say. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of On The Spot. Um, we're going to do a short run of these, so if you want to see the one that was prior to this one, I'm sure it's down below me right now. Um, if you want to catch the next one, hit that subscribe button, and if you hit the bell, it'll notify you when not only that video is uploaded, but other things that we upload. So that's what you got to do. That's what I'm going to say. Goodbye.